A special delivery at Buchanan Field in Concord today, where three vintage biplanes made a stop along the West Coast's original airmail route. KPIX 5's John Ramos shows us the journey marks 100 years since snail mail sprouted wings. On this date in 1918, President Woodrow Wilson arrived at a Washington, D.C. airfield to witness the first transcontinental flight of airmail service in America. It didn't quite go as planned. They put a relatively inexperienced Army pilot in the first airplane. He went the wrong way and crashed after 20 miles. But despite that shaky start, it was actually a huge moment in American history. So this morning, a trio of vintage biplanes arrived at Concord's Buchanan Field to commemorate this 100th anniversary. To bring to the attention of the general public the contributions the U.S. Post Office made to our airspace system we have today. I mean, it's pretty visionary stuff. These 1930s era Stearman biplanes were actually built to carry mail, about 300 pounds per flight. They cut delivery time from more than four days by rail down to about 30 hours by air. I mean, think about that. I mean, it's like the internet to us today. It's essentially instant communication. But it was dangerous work. The intrepid pilots wore these heavy leather flight suits so they wouldn't freeze to death as they flew in an open cockpit at night over the Rockies and Sierra Nevada mountains in the dead of winter. They were quite the guys. It was a, uh, it was a real feat to fly these things every day in almost any sort of weather to do their route. It was quite an undertaking. It also ushered in modern transportation, as most of the contract airmail carriers eventually became well-known passenger airlines. So as they rumbled off to their next stop, the planes remind us of a time when the post office transformed the nation, 300 pounds of mail at a time. Right now we're carrying about 154 billion pieces of mail every year. That's uh, an enormous amount of, of mail. That's a lot of biplanes. <laughs> that's, that's, that's a lot of biplanes. In Concord, John Ramos, KPIX 5. That vintage footage is amazing. Today's flight is part of a five-day journey retracing the old West Coast airmail routes that started in San Diego and ended in Seattle.